Yeah, it really has. And we're hearing from many people who are saying it's been a rough few weeks of them not knowing when that next check is going to come. Well, I spoke with the Clevenger family who says it's been hard for them to budget when they don't know how long they need to plan. It has been a very trying time. This isn't the first shutdown Betsy Clevenger and her family have been through, but it has been the worst. Clevenger's husband works with the National Weather Service and because of the situation says he's not allowed to comment on camera. It's a job he's held for seven years, so he's been through periods of working with no pay before. But when the family heard the news of another shutdown... I was immediately like really concerned. And now three weeks later, that concern has only increased. I don't know when he's going to get an next paycheck. Navigating financial obstacles has been one thing for the family, but Betsy says it's also been difficult explaining to their children why they can't afford things they could before. They've had to cancel play dates and closely monitor the grocery list. They don't need that one toy from Target or whatever because we don't need to be going to Target right now. Things she realizes are luxuries, but that they're usually able to modestly afford. As the shutdown continues, the Clevengers and families like them are hoping to see change soon. I'm hoping that um, we don't have to go through this anxiety again or anything level of anxiety over this. And I'm hoping that not just us, but all the other employees of the federal government are able to just pay their bills. Now, Betsy says she is grateful for her parents who have offered to assist them with some of their bills. Their phone company also agreed to pause their bills until their next paycheck. She says some of her friends are also in the same situation, and she says she hopes that their families can also find the support that they need. Reporting in the newsroom, Shana Waltower, Crime 2